<laughs> hey YouTube, today is October the 1st at approximately 148 a.m. 148 Eastern Standard Time. Um, as you know, it's about a week and a half after the iPhone 5S release. As you can see, my lovely co-host here, Nat, has in her hand the silver version. It is a 32 gig silver iPhone 5S. As you can probably already tell from the title, this is yet another iPhone 5S unboxing. So this is what came in the packaging from UPS. Basically the only thing besides this beautiful iPhone 5S box here. Looking at the box on the top is the Apple logo. On the side is a little bit of information that AT&T provided shipping purposes, I believe. I'm guessing, I've never seen anything like that and Apple logo on the bottom. On the back, listed, says 32 gigabyte model includes iPhone 5S, earpods with remote and mic, lightning USB cable and USB power adapter, blah, blah, blah. And at the bottom here, it lists iPhone 5S gold 32 gig. I'm just gonna give a quick comparison of the iPhone 3GS box and the iPhone 4 box. Looking at all three of them, comparing, all of them, as you already know, have the coveted Apple logo on the top of the box. On the side, lists iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, and right here where the sticker is covering on the iPhone 5S, it would list iPhone 5S. Turning it to the bottom, Apple logo again, that shiny logo, and on the right side, listed is the name of the phone again. On the front, I realized that the iPhone 4 box is a little bit different in design than the iPhone 3GS and iPhone 5S models. For what reason, I don't know. Compared to the iPhone 4 box and the iPhone 3GS box, this 3GS box lists AT&T right here by the Apple logo. iPhone 4 box, this is a Verizon iPhone 4, so it lists Verizon down here. But on my 5S, it is supposed to be AT&T, but it does not list AT&T. Silver iPhone 5S actually is the same. It does not list a carrier. That is the basically only difference that I've seen across these carriers and across these different iPhones. Let me just tell y'all a little bit about what I had to go through to get this damn phone. This gold iPhone 5S it's not an easy commodity to come by. Not even an hour and a half into the phone being released online, it was sold out until October. I don't know if Apple just wanted the phone to seem... Precious. So they made it seem like they created the illusion that it wasn't available just so they can sell, you know, the slate gray models and the silver models before allowing people to get these gold iPhones. I was in line for two hours. Got to the Verizon store at 6.30 in the morning for the store to open at 8. I was number 15 in line, excited that I was going to get this gold phone. Went into the store and they told me they only had silver and black. I also decided to go ahead and take that fall and pay 50 bucks for this iPhone 5S case. I don't know how it's going to perform or what it's going to be like, but it looks pretty damn nice inside this packaging. And on the back it says this case is made from natural aniline leather, whatever the hell aniline is. Its appearance will change as you use it. Like a chameleon. Like a chameleon. Or like a cheap ass case that's not worth 50 bucks. <laughs> Thank you, Apple. Here's just a quick comparison of the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S side by side. As you can see on the left is the black model and it's pretty ravished. Physically, these phones are exactly alike except the color. As y'all are already aware of, this black model on the iPhone 5 went through a whole scuff gate process of, you know, people figuring out that the black model scratches fairly easily. The aluminum on the phone that it's made of, it's actually painted. Underneath this paint, the aluminum is basically the color of the new 5S Space Gray model. I'm done now. 